Teen Titans Go to the Movies. It was uh, not a movie that was on my list, but I watched a review by Jeremy Johns, and he said he thoroughly enjoyed it. He said it was kind of like uh, the Lego movie or Lego Batman, so fans of comic books will enjoy it. That's what he said. Um, I've never seen Teen Titans Go, the new version of the Teen Titans. I've only seen the 2003 one, which I really liked. It's like a childhood favorite of mine. I even made my brother and sister watch it. But um, essentially, Teen Titans Go is hated because it's like more aimed at kids. It's more like 10, I don't even know how long they are. They're like 10 minutes or five minute segments, short film sort of about like chibi versions of the Titans and they, it's more comedic based. Like they go off for pie instead of stopping like a nuclear attack or something like that. So I wasn't really sure what I was getting into when I watched this movie, but basically all of the superheroes in the world of Teen Titans go like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, they're all getting superhero movies and starring in their own superhero movies by a popular director named Jade Wilson. However, Robin wonders why he's not getting his own movie or the Teen Titans are not getting a movie because no one takes them seriously. They think they're goofs and they sort of are. In the middle of a fight scene, they uh, start rapping and dancing and they like to talk about food and they're very juvenile. So that's why no one takes them seriously. So they figure out that they need to maybe get their own arch nemesis. So they pick Slade who's trying to steal a crystal they get in his way, he starts uh, creating this other plan, and honestly the story itself is not very exciting. It's basically, a, it's got the message of, you know, you just need to be yourself, you know, and of course that's a good message for kids, but the movie could have been a lot more edgy. I noticed that there's some hilarious uh, dark humor sequences in this movie. There's like three or four jokes that were just like, push the limit of what's acceptable for kids. I like them, they're really funny. Like. I don't, I don't want to spoil them, but like, they definitely made me laugh, it's belly laughs, you know, like really good stuff. They needed more of that. Also, some of the plotting was kind of weird. I know that, you know, this is like a fun kids movie, but like, we find out at the end that like Slade Wilson was someone else the whole time, but they could have used his daughter instead. Also, uh, he uses like a mind control ray to like take on the superheroes and control them, and they don't really fight the Teen Titans. They could have had like a funny sequences with that, but um, other than that, it's like a, you know, it feels like an extra long episode of a Saturday morning cartoon. It's not really worth seeing in the big screen, in my opinion. Uh, I, I guess I laughed a few times, but I didn't really enjoy it all that much. There is a nice Easter egg in the credit scene, but I guess the only part I really liked was seeing Starfire again. She's my favorite character of the Teen Titans. So, um, the movie was funny. Um, there isn't a lot of Easter eggs. They say that like, like, there's a lot of characters from DC Comics that are like in the background, but there's nothing more than that. There's no special nods. It could have used a lot more jokes, more dark humor, more better plotting for the main plot. So I give uh, Teen Titans Go the Movies a uh, 4 out of 10.